<laughs> Kakamura revenge. Bye bye. Hey guys, it's time to get frosty. What do you think would happen if we tried putting a coconut in liquid nitrogen? Would it crack open? For today's experiment, I jumped down to the comments and I pulled this one out from Tommy Linden who says, could you please try a coconut in liquid nitrogen to see if it cracks open? That's an interesting request there, Tommy. So today we're doing this experiment for you. Now to make this experiment possible today, I ran down to the grocery store this morning and picked up four coconuts. I'm also bringing back this monster filled with 35 liters of liquid nitrogen, as well as this styrofoam crate. And I'm using styrofoam because it has more insulating properties than some of the containers I've used in the past, and the hope is I'll be able to save more liquid nitrogen by using styrofoam rather than metal dish. So here we are guys, I've literally just emptied the rest of my doer into the styrofoam container and this thing is full of a lot of nitrogen. In fact, I'm completely out now, I'm gonna have to make some more. This thing is almost full to the top and we better not spill it because things get awfully cold if we did. But this is exactly the kind of setup I wanted because I want to be able to submerge these coconuts completely. I want them to freeze as quickly as possible. No shallow containers, we're going all in. I just need to grab a pair of tongs. Are these things even strong enough to pick up a coconut? That could work. This is pretty sketchy, but I think it's gonna work. All right, coconut number one, here we go. And we're going all in. Bubble, bubble, bubble. This thing wants to float. Look at that, the coconut is floating. Oh, I take it back. No, actually it is kind of floating. That's like half and half. It's half floating, half not. <laughs> you can definitely tell where the coconut is because there's like isolated boiling. All this is pretty calm, and then this is boiling right over here, which means that's where our coconut's at. Got little pieces of coconut husk floating around. All right, we've been in for about 15 seconds. I'm gonna pull it out and take a look. Whoop, if I can get it out. There we go, this thing is slippery. These aren't the best tongs. Oh, look, we got some cracking there, that's cool. Coconut's getting a little crispy. I can still hear the water shaking around on the inside. I'm kind of tempted to freeze this thing until the water doesn't shake anymore. Like, can we freeze it solid? Just for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all four coconuts at once. What do you think about that? But before we do, let's just check on coconut number one. Looking pretty good. That's cold. There we go. Check that little guy out. Listening, listen to it crack. The water inside is still liquid. You can see it cracking on the outside of the shell here. I'm just curious to know at this point if I tapped it with a hammer. Apparently not much. All right, we'll throw it back in. Along with all of his little buddies. Ha 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 ha. Kakamura revenge. Bye bye. Woo doggy. Wait, I want to play too. Oh gosh, that's a lot of liquid nitrogen. I got the lid on just to prevent the nitrogen from escaping too rapidly. Now let's just go ahead and let that sit for about 10 minutes and then come back and crack our coconuts with a hammer. All right guys, it is 15 minutes later. Check out the edges here, the gaps of the styrofoam. Look at it, it's getting all frosty. All this stuff is like, shooting out like spikes. It's very, very cool, like mini icicles. You see that? Look at that, all around the gaps. Cool. Hopefully that's been able to salvage a little bit of nitrogen. And I'm seeing we've only dropped about two inches in volume, which is very, very good considering the amount of mass we had in there. Now the question is, have these coconuts frozen all the way through? Let's do the shake test. If I can even get these things out. There we go. Coconut number one. Oh wow, my gloves are freezing. Shaking it. Whoa. I don't hear any of the water shaking around. So, potentially, this thing now is completely frozen. I'm gonna give it a little drop test. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Maybe a little bit harder, a forceful drop. There we go, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you know what? What? The shell just came right off and that is all the meat. Oh boy, oh wow, 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 look at this. There's our coconut water frozen completely solid. Here's our coconut meat. 
I wonder if we can get the rest of this thing out. Look at that, it just all falls out. Whoa! There's our shell, there's our coconut meat, there's our coconut water. That's crazy. I gotta put that in the glass before it thaws. You know what's really cool about this is this thing just fell right out of the shell. I have never got the meat out of a coconut as cleanly as that. That is absolutely perfect. There's nothing left in there. No scraping, no risking cutting off your fingers with the blade of a knife, no endless prying. It just like cracked and fell right out. Easiest coconut demeating ever. Is demeating even a word? Now I do have to say this is quite cold to hang on to, but if I keep moving it, it doesn't freeze my fingers. Just grab it, smack it, rotate, smack it, rotate, smack it. What that's doing is it's breaking up everything on the inside. Just like that. Look at how that shatters. This is a coconut and it just shattered into a bajillion pieces. Look at that. The shell just falls right away. Now my hand's getting really cold. Okay, we're gonna take these pieces of coconut water that are now like glass, put them in a cup. That'll cool you down in the hot summer sun. Look at that. It looks like a ball of ice. Pure coconut water. That's a little gem I'm hanging on to. Goes right in there. Boop. These pieces of the meat here are extremely hard and extremely brittle. That's satisfying. Okay, next. Don't see any cracks yet. Hulk smash. That's the way to get it done right there. Look at that. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if we get the whole coconut out in one piece? Oh, look at that. What? That's the inside of the coconut. It's completely intact. No cracks. But that's the meat, and on the inside of the meat is the coconut water. Look at all the veins in it. It almost looks like some kind of an organ. Like it seriously does look organic. That's so cool. Eel heart. This is kind of mind blowing, guys. This is what the inside of your coconut looks like if you remove the shell. It's completely intact, unscratched, and still full of coconut water. I'm gonna let this thaw out because I'm quite proud of that. Think we can do it again? Probably not. All right, last one. No cracks to begin with. Transfer it to the chopping block. You can see how brittle that shell is. Just a few taps from a hammer and starts cracking all over. And then it just pops right off. I wasn't quite as lucky with this one. You can see the meat did crack. We turn this upside down, the rest of it falls out. It's freezing my hand like crazy. There we go. Let's transfer our coconut water in there. Look at that. It's like a coconut puzzle, 3D puzzle. Good luck trying to put that back together. So guys, this is pretty cool, and I have to admit, I never really know what to expect when we're gonna try something like this, and the results are always mind-blowing. We start off just trying to see what would happen if you put a coconut in liquid nitrogen. Would it actually get cold enough that it would crack? But in four different cases, we didn't see any of our coconut shells begin to crack. But we did notice that the shells were brittle enough that if we give them a little tap with a hammer or drop them hard enough onto something like a concrete surface, they would crack enough to expose the meat and the water on the inside. We also noticed this only works as well as it does if you shake the coconut and you can't hear the water sloshing around. It needs to be frozen completely solid. And what was completely mind blowing for me was coconut number three because we removed the shell and kept the inner parts completely intact. Now I don't know about you, but I have never actually seen the inside of a coconut in whole and intact like this before. This very well could be a first. Very cool. I'm gonna let this thing thaw and when it's completely warmed back up to room temperature, the whole thing will be edible outside and in. The heart of the coconut. Getting this stuff out of the shells really is most of the work, but as long as you got a little bit of liquid nitrogen and a hammer, it's no sweat. And a big thanks to Tommy Linden for suggesting this experiment today. You can go check your YouTube inbox, Tommy. I'm sending you 25 bucks. So there you have it guys, liquid nitrogen versus coconut. Very cool experiment and very glad that you were here to join me for it. Thanks for hopping into this video. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. This stuff is pretty dang expensive, so I'm saving it. Sweet, now we have more for another day.